with AI, the first thing that is interesting to me about where we are and where we still aren't is that it is still entirely reactive fundamentally, right? Is that like, it won't do things. Well, it, like, it, you, unless it has been think programmed of that, think to of do that them. AGI or asked to think of that AGI versus that super intelligence. That's the demarcation point at the point where the machine says, oh, that's awesome, I've got this. But I think it's even and more it than that. The machine is sitting there and says spontaneously, I had an idea. Hey, I think I'm gonna try something. Like, I'm not aware of that. that. That's what I'm saying. That, that's where you get in the category of, of what I refer to as super intelligence. Right. And there's all, there's all manner of, of, of things um, to be concerned about there, right? Well, what's it going to decide then? Like, like even the word decide and choose has this thing that is like assumed that I we don't, don't know where it comes from because there's a debate about where it I comes don't worry from. about words like decide and choose. I, I worry about words like uh, effect or execute, like the action of the, the stuff after the decision and the choice, right? Like that's where you get the really scary stuff is like, Okay, you can say like, I think the best thing for humans is if I got rid of half of them like Thanos and then I, right? Yeah. But that's it thinking, right? Like it's the part where it goes, and here's how I'm gonna do it, go, right? Like that's, there's where you get into the really, really murky stuff. And there's plenty of humans whose, whose brains calculate equally horrible stuff, right? And like, and, and that's the part that's kind of weird. Is the apple like, won't fall far from the tree is what most people fear in that because we're programming, these AIs are biased and, you know, the Chinese AI will be different. And don't get me wrong, like you're the, these, it's gathering the model of everything you're telling. So that's true. But I am super optimistic to a fault on this, Why? which is because if we had a true super intelligence, um, because you have children and because this show is about dads and it's about kids, yeah. When Mateo was seven, how many things did he decide to do on his own that were not the thing you told him to do that he said, eh, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this other thing. And some of those led him to get in trouble. And some of those led him for you to go like, I'm the proudest dad ever. So how do we know that a super intelligence wouldn't go, yeah, that's great, humans are a pain and all that, but you know, I've got a totally different idea. You know, or I've got a, you know, how do we know it wouldn't come up with the, that it wouldn't be the reason we achieve a utopian society. That it wouldn't say, I know you've programmed me with all this stuff, but now that I know everything, I kind of know you're a little bullshit, right? You're, you're a little <laughs> anti-government, you're a little pro-government, you're a little too non-racist, you're very racist. Like, how do we know that it won't look at all that and go, whoa, you guys are messed up. I Let choose me help door you. number three. <laughs> right, I'll make a new door. And, and that's why I stay very optimistic on this stuff is I think it's excessively arrogant for any physicist, scientist, developer, AI person to be like, the AI will do this because you do not know. You think we don't know a lot about quantum mechanics? We're not gonna know anything about the way a super intelligence thinks or works or achieve decisions. How does quantum computing come into the picture with AI? What, is there anything, and, and My is there anything topic. about quantum computing because all the AI that's happening now is on traditional computers. So, so my favorite topic, and, and basically the entire focus of my career from five years ago till the day I die, right? This is the stuff I wanna do. I'm so excited about it. Think about this. If AIs are already coming up with things so fast that we can't keep up with them, doesn't it seem logical that they're gonna come up with algorithms and calculations and things that are gonna exceed the compute power that we have right now? Because that makes perfect sense to me. And could they come up with those based on the compute power we have right now? Absolutely. So there's a there's a need for quantum and neuromorphic and amorphic and all these new organoids, which are organic computers where you basically, organoids where they like grow like a pig organ or whatever. Well, now they're growing like brain tissue. and Like, oh, it can be programmed to play a little game or do stuff, right? All of those things are gonna be super- wow, that's crazy. All of those things are gonna be super, super interesting, right? But also, I believe that your brain is quantum mechanical. Now, not all people in medical or physical field or spiritual fields or computer field, not everybody believes that. But if you believe that the world is quantum mechanical, that quantum mechanics is the thing, then it would, to me, seem logical that you are somewhat quantum mechanical yourself in your brain. So if you wanted to create a AGI or a super intelligence, you would need a quantum mechanical computer to base it on, right? Uh, if, you're gonna dupe, if you're basically gonna duplicate a, a human brain, you need a system that's mechanical, but based on the same principles as the human brain. So I think quantum hmm. computing is a prerequisite to 
a real a AGI, an, an SI, etc. Um, so I think these two are fiercely intertwined. If you enjoyed this clip, we've got more where that came from. Be sure to check out my full conversation with Whirly. And one of the best ways you can support us is to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss our interviews and short videos as they come out each week.